Way, way out there. Chapter 1. Whitecliffe. You see that light over there? That's where I was born. Up on Whitecliffe. It's a small rock in the middle of big ocean. They say Whitecliffe is held up by a great giant. I've never seen. But this is what I've been told. This is what I believed. Until the day I heard about the place, way, way out there, where actual giants lived. Way, way out there is where big things reside. They're so big, they often have to travel out, just so they can stretch their legs. I met one of them when I was little. Joe was her name. I met Joe when she was twelve, and I was eight. She was still too young to grab too much attention from everyone, but I found her presence irresistible, because she would always cast a shadow on my way. Chapter 2 The Shadow I tried talking to her, but she didn't speak my tongue, so she just watched as I played. Then one day, she started to describe what I was doing in her own words. She kept doing this until I figured it out and learned how to speak like her. Where do you come from? was the question I'd been wanting to ask. Way, way out there, she said, with the rest of the giants. Why are you always playing out here on your own? Don't you have friends? They're not allowed here on Whitecliffe. Why not? Well, Whitecliffe is a jumping off place. At the time, I couldn't explain myself so well. Whenever I ran out of words, I would change the topic and talk about something else. Why are you so big? was another question I'd been wanting to ask. Joe laughed. Well, why are you so small? Sometimes I like to take the fastest way down to shore. I almost lost my grip. Joe had a laugh that could cut through chalk and flint. You think I'm big? Wait until you see my siblings. I have brothers twice my height and a sister with a girth thrice as mine. This made my imagination run wild. We're big because we do big things. The view from the shore made her look even larger. Are they as terrific as you look? I asked. You'd have to see for yourself. Way, way out there. She pointed west and splashed the ocean with her leg. Oops, I got drenched. How do I get there? She took out a red book from her pocket and tore a page. You will need a boat with a sail. The paper had markings on it. Follow it westward, and there you will find it. 